Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Greg Nelson. I'm a personal development coach, and I'm not sure if this is your first experience with me or if you've seen any of my videos in the past, but gosh, thanks again for being here. Hey, I talk a lot about goals, not just goals, but goal setting and goal writing and the right way to go about doing that. Equally important to goal setting and goal writing is visualization. To really get what you want and be able to manifest your desires into reality, it's important that we visualize what it is that we want. Not only do we write it down as if it's already happened, but we keep that image fresh in our mind. And there's no better way to go about doing that than with a vision board. You can still make a vision board in today's world for not a lot of money. And today I'm going to show you how to make a vision board for under $30. Make sure you stick with me to the end because there'll be a special little trick that I'm going to show you that you can do with your vision board that you're really going to love. Don't forget to hit the like button and at any time subscribe to the channel. I'm all about showing individuals how they can better their life and I have a four-step system on how you go about doing that. Well, let's get to it. Before we get started on actually building the board, I want to talk to you about why a vision board, what's needed in building our vision board, and what the cost is and how to keep it under the $30 mark. Why a vision board? Well, simply it keeps our mind on our goals. You may write your goals down once a day, hopefully twice a day, and you see the vision of what it is you really want when you're writing your goals down. But then life gets busy. You go about your day and you forget about it. And a lot of times we forget about it. Building a vision board will keep that goal directly in front of us, but not in a text or written form. It will keep the picture of the goal so we don't, we can quickly move by it. We can quickly see the snapshot of that picture of what it is that we want. And our goal is fresh in our mind. It incorporates the other senses, incorporating as many senses as you can into uh, your goals is highly important. It works with goal writing. You're going to, again, you're going to write your goals down once a day and hopefully twice a day. And then as you go about your day, uh, your life with yourself and your family, you're always going to have, as you turn the corner, as you're going from the kitchen into the hallway, as you're going from the hallway you know, into the restroom, as you're going from the restroom, every day you want to put this vision board somewhere where every time you're going to go, the heavily trafficked area in your house, you're going to constantly see a snapshot of that picture. And then the lastly, the reason why a vision board is because repetition is the mother of all skills. And if we're going to incorporate all the senses into trying to manifest our goals into reality, we want to do that over and over and over again. We want to develop good habits. Uh, and if you've seen my videos in the past, you know, I talk a lot about, uh, you, you know, I talk a lot about past conditionings. We need to stop old past conditionings. Those are in the past. We need to make a commitment, put our mind down that we're never going back and we're going to march on forward. And the best way to do that is with repetition. So what's needed? So what's needed when we build our vision board? Well, I went to Walmart and then I also went to a grocery store for the magazines only because I did not like the selection of magazines at Walmart. But for the frame, you're going to need a 22 inch by 28 inch frame. I found one at Walmart for $14. You're going to need a poster board, 22 inches by 28 inches. I found one at Wal I also found one at Walmart for a buck. It was actually, I think it was uh, 87 cents. You're going to need a, a glue stick. I found a three pack or a two pack of glue sticks for under a dollar. And then you're going to need magazines or you're going to want to do this uh, through a color copier. If you have a laser color copier, that's going to be optimal. If you have a regular inkjet color copier and you're under the age of 18, I would highly suggest you ask your parents if you can run off some copies uh, to put on a vision board. And then lastly, uh, what's needed is good music. Because when you're doing arts and crafts, you always got to have good music uh, behind you. And this, as you can see, the frame cost $14. The poster board was $1. The glue stick was $1. The magazine... I bought two of them for six bucks. That was 12 bucks. And we're keeping this under $30. 
Once you've cut all of your images out, go ahead and start gluing those onto your poster board. As you can see, I got mine right here. There. Terrific. We've cut out our images and we've glued them onto our poster board. Now it's time to put our poster board into the frame. Remove the stock photo in, in the frame from when you bought it at the store because there will always be that in there. And if you want, you can turn it over, creates an extra barrier. Then we take our poster board and because we got a 22 by 28 inch poster board and a 22 by 28 inch frame, our poster board to lay perfectly inside the frame. And it does. Next, we want to take the cardboard backing and we want to put it back into the frame and push down all these little black tabs. There. And now, and now we have our vision board in a frame for under $30. And that's a quality vision board. And that is how we make a vision board in today's world for under $30. In fact, with the $2 savings, I think I may go get a coffee. Remember at the beginning of the video, I told you there would be a little trick at the end that you could do with this vision board? Let me show you. You can hang it on the wall. Wow, now that's a quality vision board and one that we can hang on our wall proudly. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to check out my other videos and we'll talk to you soon.